hello students in this session we are going to discuss about we are trying to know about some introduction part of the database management system so at the beginning uh, to know about database management system some key terms which are we have to study throughout the subject we have to discuss at the beginning that are first one data database information and database management system at the beginning we will try to know what it mean data so it could be any fact that can be recorded and stored so data nothing but the da the fact that can be recorded and stored so uh, the fact nothing but the information which are which we have to store it in a database or we have to maintain a record about that one then stored in the sense for a permanent memory we have to store so if we consider if you want to store the information about some students uh, so some data about the students in the sense in that particular time it will be there in a form of characters or text or it may also be there in a form of numeric in the sense suppose if you want to store the details about marks and all it will be in a form of numbers other than text and numbers we we are also have some data or we can also store the data in a form of videos images speech and audio also in a form of also we can store so the data in different ways we can store we have studied so the numbers and text data which are stored in a database that will be considered as a traditional database so traditional nothing but in a form of numbers and text we are storing so rest all are like images videos audios contents and all we will consider it as a multimedia database so in our data also which we type of data we are going to store in the, that one also we have to decide so after after knowing about data we should also know about the data base so what it mean database database is a collection of related data that represents some real world entities real world entities nothing but real world objects it may be a students it may be a employee it may be a car it may be a uh universities like uh, anything so in a real world entity in the sense it may be a logical persistence also it will be there or physical existence also will be there so real uh, in our definition we have studied like a database is a collection of related data what it mean related data so while we are collecting the data about uh, students so in that particular time uh, like we will consider so uh, we will at the beginning we will consider i uh, will take up uh, details about employees so in that one employees those who are um, whose age and all less than 30 we will collect the data in one more database we will uh, we will maintain a records about car and their prices in one more data we uh, base we will uh, maintain a uh, details about uh, list of uh, different software companies and their locations so here we have a uh, three different databases Uh, uh, data like uh, uh, employee data, uh, car details and price data. Then one more we have a uh, like uh, software companies details. So if you consider these three set of data, they, they we don't have any relations or any link. Don't we don't have. So that's why while we are making a database, we need to maintain or we need to collect some data of related data. Next one uh, we have to study about information. so what it mean after knowing about data database then we have to know in the sense information so the definition of information nothing but meaningful or processed data so here also we have a data nothing but so the entire database is a data uh, set of data so from that one so each and every user may have different uh, persistence or he may uh, intention to know uh, access the database so in that particular time so if we consider like a student database in that one we have a student details like a student number student name class uh, three subjects marks and all so in that particular time we no need to access entire database i want to know so how many number of students are there in a database in that particular time just i need a only count so in a second uh, time i want to access a database in a uh, with a intention like uh, uh, um, to know or to display the only the student names in that particular time also no need to access entire database or no need to display entire database so with the different information so from a different database we are accessing a or we are retrieving some set of information so that one is about information nothing but meaningful or processed data at the end after collecting data after knowing about database 
after uh, after that one uh, studying that information so we need to know about database management system just imagine we have uh, we are stored uh, or we are collected information about the students like a student number student name class gender three different subjects marks and total all those things we have collected and we are plan to create a database in that particular time we need some interface or in that particular time we need some medium to store a database in a system nothing but in a digital form in that particular time we need a database management system that one is nothing but a dbms what it mean dbms is a software package so as um, is a system nothing but is a software package is defined is used to define manipulate retrieve and manage data in database so in a definition itself they are specified like uh, the software package is designed to define so define nothing but which and all data we need to uh, in which particular format we need to store a data so manipulate nothing but how to manipulate so suppose if you want to insert or if you want to edit so all those de uh, tasks then retrieve nothing but suppose if any users they ask some de de details from the particular that particular table so in that particular time how we can retrieve or we can give it to a user so that one is a retrieve last one manage the data so entire database we have to manage uh, for a purpose we need some uh, packages so that one is nothing but database management system in that one so for each and every task def defining managing retrieving and manipulating for all those four tasks they have written some set of codes along with that one so by accessing each and every module we can create the database we can insert we can delete and we can manipulate any task we can do with the help of the ma database management system so to create a uh, database management in the system in the sense that at the beginning we need to s we need to know some example for a database management system so here we have two examples examples like a student and course in a student database we are going to store some details about the students in course database we are going to store the information about each courses some examples for the da popular database uh, management system software are like uh, mysql microsoft access oracle postgresql dbase foxpro sqlite ibm db2 microsoft sql server so with the help of all these things we can create or with these software we can create a database and we can uh, um, manage the database we can retrieve the database we can manipulate the database this one is about introduction about the database management system in the next session we are going to discuss about why we need database management system we are in that one we are going to discuss about the database file management system versus file management system thank you